Hello, today I want to talk about market manipulation. Again, I have a couple of other videos out there on this topic, and you can check out these links here. Today, I just wanted to give some more examples of market manipulation. Lure and squeeze. So this happens when there's a distressed company out there. They're barely hanging on. They need a capital infusion. It looks really bad for the company. So other investors are out there, and they're, they're like, this is terrible. I'm going to start shorting these shares. They're shorting these shares. And as this price gets lower and lower and lower, you start buying, you start buying, you start buying. And then... You put out some news out there saying they got their capital infusion, whatever, put the short squeeze on these people, uh, this, you know, the stock price rallies, and you're able to shell, sell those shares at a profit. Pools. Now, there are a couple of you know, definitions out there for pools if you look at the literature. One is what you're trying to do is a group of people come together and they say, hey, we, we want to give you know, each member exclusive access to a market to create or, or destroy this competitive market. You get this market, so now you have full control over it. You have higher profits, et cetera. I get this market, full control, higher profits. And you come together and share those you know, abnormally high profits due to these, this pooling nature. Another definition out there is very similar to churning where some, some participants out there are just a bunch of buy and nonsense, buy and sell orders in order to drive up volume and drive attention to that stock, hoping to you know, change the price of that stock. Now, interestingly, in the 1920s and the leading up to the Great Depression stock market crash, uh, th there appear to be, or there's a lot of people accused of pooling in this case. Uh, in fact, a lot of the anti-market manipulation rules and regulations are a direct result of what happened in the 1920s. Now, interestingly, a paper in 2004 indicates uh, that when they looked at it closer, they didn't really seem to be like there was pooling going on there. It actually seemed like there were some informed traders. Now, maybe this is unusual, but it, in this case it appeared that maybe market manipulation wasn't actually there. Uh, price fixing is kind of what it sounds like. A group of people get together, they conspire and, and just kind of falsely set price, break down that price discovery. Classic example, uh, this century was the LIBOR scandal where all these banks got together and colluded to set the LIBOR prices, right? So it's supposed to independently, you know, to, to uh, let, let the, the, the regulators know what their interest rates could be so they could pull these together and average them out into an actual LIBOR rate. Uh, of course, you can look into, you know, what actually happened to the people involved here and, and whatnot. Uh, pumping up is kind of like it sounds. You pump up a stock, get the price up, you sell your shares and it comes down. Now, a lot of times this is also a little bit more involved where you come in to say maybe say the company or people, you know, there or people just large shareholders and say, look, I want to, I want to promote this stock and get it up. But as payment uh, for my, for my promotion services, I want you to pay me in stock. So you get some stock, you pump it up with your promotion, you sell your shares. Uh, subsequently, this uh, stock goes down as you sell. Uh, quote stuffing. This one's a little more complicated. This is something high frequency traders do, and I believe they still do. Now, the idea here is you are just flooding the market with orders. And I mean, when I say flooding, I mean, flooding. it's like, like 200 buy and 200 sell orders in five milliseconds. You're just bam, throwing it out there. So there's two things you can do here is you can kind of send this false signal again, kind of like this churning thing to other market participants. If something's going on here and drive the price one way. The other thing you can do is you can overwhelm the SIP. So the idea here is you overwhelm it with a massive amount of trades and you're going to create this delay that you can now capitalize on. So it's a latency arbitrage where you now can kind of cherry pick off trades because of this delay uh, and execute those and basically assure profit. This is, of course, illegal to do that. High frequency trading legal. The quote stuffing is illegal. Um, now, if you want to look a little closely here, you can see what I'm talking about here. So if you look here, there's this, there's this big delay here where the SIP is totally stopped. Nothing's going on there. So there's this, there's this kind of 16 second or 16 millisecond delay. And that's where these people are capitalizing on, on this. They, because of that delay, they can move faster and kind of cherry pick all these prices and be the one with the true price discovery uh, and, and, and basically at, at the detriment of other actual investors out there. Um, next time, we uh, I'll follow this up with a, a video with a few more examples of market manipulation. I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Brian Kozlowski. Thanks so much.